probably sick and tired of the wet weather and also the flooding problem. We have some wild and woolly weather coming up for the Ohio Valley and the eastern states. If you live near those flood prone areas where this thing's coming through, be weary. Watch out. So far this June, it's been storm after storm after storm. Definitely want to keep an eye out to the sky just in case. Have the wet gear just in case if you do get caught in some of this wet weather. We continue to keep an eye out on Bill. Heavy rainfall, the main event. Look how far inland it is near Dallas. But look at the circulation still around. Look at that circulation. When you get a circulation like that inland, that far inland, it usually spells trouble on the path of where that system is going. Some funky things will happen heavy downpours, gusty winds that you might not expect. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Hey, great news, everybody. Stupid freak. Frankenstein Storm Bill Nye, which has now been downgraded to a depression and will soon become a low, is making its way up through Oklahoma and will cross, cross the Ohio River through the Central East Americans and exit. During this time, it's going to drop a lot of rain and cause a lot of problems. Now, this psycho creepy storm seemed to maintain its eye all the way through Texas, which is really weird. And then it had this giant tail, which is still kind of hanging around the Houston area, which is really weird. A lot of really weird things going on in the world now, wouldn't you agree? So I'm just letting my friends in Central America and in the East know. Look out. This storm ain't nothing to funk with. You got me? Well, you may not take me so seriously because uh, I'm hilarious and my voice is so sexy you might be like, should I trust someone with so sexy a voice? So I'll kick it on over to the experts parade of storms this week we've seen storm after storm here comes the next one on thursday we got problems folks bill is gonna be a nuisance for flooding right through uh sunday morning as it uh, tracks from Texas all the way through the Ohio Valley into the Mid-Atlantic states. Lots of moisture still streaming out of the Gulf of Mexico and wrapping around the system. At the same time, some of the moisture is getting pulled northward into the Ohio Valley and uh, it's just a mess. This whole system, this whole system is going to get pulled off as it weakens 
into the Ohio Valley with lots of moisture. Lots of moisture in place here in the Northeast and as well as in the uh, Mid-Atlantic states. More concentrated moisture has been pumped in from the Gulf of Mexico, not only from Bill, but just the basic southerly flow that's existed here. Flooding downpours, the main concern with Bill uh, as it continues to make its move out. And we're really going to see this remain the case through the rest of this week. Once it gets up past Paducah, it's like a baseball going through one of those, you know, pitching machines that get kind of, gets sort of sucked in and blown out through Ohio Valley, through the Appalachians, uh, and, and uh, through the Mid-Atlantic states during the course of the later part of this week into the early part of the weekend. It's going to dump a lot of rain. It'll go through its pulsing again, and we're going to see copious amounts of rainfall. That is going to spell problems Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, we already have seen about six inches or more in parts of southern Oklahoma, even into Dallas. San Antonio picked up two inches of rain within 45 minutes uh, on Wednesday. So again, it's sticking together so well, uh, it's not becoming diffuse. There is a lot of concerns. That's why I'm kind of worried that there's going to be a secondary area of flooding that we have to deal with across uh, West Virginia, maybe Southwest PA, up toward Johnstown, those areas, Saturday night. This is tropical moisture. We'll see scattered showers move through Cleveland, Syracuse, Philly, New York, Boston. We're gonna see a lot of rainfall because it kind of just pulls all that tropical air into itself and uh, keeps regenerating these thunderstorms. Lots of dark green in there for heavy rain. We are concerned about two major things with this going into the weekend local downpours and flooding is indeed possible. Gotta keep in mind here that the ground is already very, very wet. So anything that falls Thursday, we run the risk to see some flooding problems as well. But we have other problems or other uh, storm systems heading our way. Take a look. Now, I want to give you a sneak peek at what we're going to be looking at next week. Different weather pattern, but unfortunately the same result. We're going to see a storm track that brings frequent storms into the upper Midwest and eventually in the Mid-Atlantic. And that means lots of showers and thunderstorms as we go through next week. We have this next system cutting in. Lots of rain, lots of thunderstorms, lots of problems for the mid-Mississippi Valley, the Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. Ready, set, go.
go. There you go. I told you. Lots more rain coming. And looking at the wind patterns in the Gulf of Mexico with the cluster funky thing that's in the high northeast Atlantic, I'm guessing we'll see more tropical storm development in the Pacific and in the Gulf of Mexico. Texas, you better get ready because I got a feeling we got the rainiest summer on record coming. And we aren't even in July. Alright, God bless everybody. The raindrops aren't marked with little T's or little F's depending on whether it's from a front or from a, a tropical system. It's, it's just wet. Now, let me be real frank with, with this. It'll be the result of the outer bands of Bill. Bill is the blame for making your Saturday and your Sunday a bit soggy. And you can say, well, that raindrop came from Bill or that raindrop came from something else, you know. It's up to you to decide what you want to do, but hope you have a great day today. You know, it's, it's crazy.